quickly before I start, we're giving away 600 credits to one lucky winner. All the rules are down below if you do want to enter. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground then I go off. Yeah, hit the ground then I go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. Yeah, I hit the ground then I go off. Yeah, hit the ground then I go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. Oh, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Episode 2 is all about preparation. The entire point of this series is to become as rich as possible on Exara. Where does one person make the most money typically on RuneScape? Raids. There are four different custom raids on this server and each of them can make you rich in an instant. Personally, I have my eyes on a Scoria weapon from the Argus raids. I've been in a party where someone else got one of these weapons. What's stopping me from getting one? Since I ended last episode, all I've really been doing on the account is Slayer. Slayer, more Slayer, and even more Slayer. And with this, I gathered enough Slayer points for my first unlock. I've done a ton of Slayer recently, and I've gathered enough points to actually unlock Superiors. Costing 45 out of my 55 points. Definitely worth the purchase. If you do call on call on Superiors in-game, you can find out the rate of each spawn rate, what monsters actually have a Superior, and also the boss superior spawn rates, which will give the best loot. Let's fucking go, boy. He's gonna get a grats in the chat, please. Oh shit, look at that. The first superior on the account. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh, I got a pet. I'm so confused what he does, I'll be honest with you. You can beg him and he says to come back every five minutes. Oh, I see. He carries food about for you. <laughs> That's so fucking cool. He gave me six cooked shark. I've been doing Slayer for a fuck ton of time. I feel like it's just the best thing to do as a new account on any server really, so I'm going to keep doing Slayer. we got a little power of it. See what else we can get. Uh, another task complete and I got a chili staff on the final kill nowhere the next upgrade from my exo sword is the true exo sword which can be found in the upgrade machine there is a few item requirements for this but nothing too difficult to obtain oh there we go there's the exo sword that we do need for the upgrade hell yeah anything on top of this is a bonus Exo Rapier, okay. I'm gonna put 50 mil of my GP into the trading post coffer because I've noticed there is a Firestorm Longsword in here for 50 mil. So I'll go ahead and pick that up. Lovely, so all we need now is to get a Magma Whip, which in the POS, the cheapest one currently, is 110 mil. Whoa, what? I've already got a fucking Firestorm Longsword in the bank. I did not even realise. There it is, 70 agility, let's go. There is a world boss on here that requires that, so I thought I'd get out of the way. Is that good? <laughs> I love the ground animations, but I don't know if it's good or not. I've got five clue scrolls in the inventory that I've gathered from PVM in, and I'm off to go complete them all. Oh shit, let's go. Instantly completed the clue. We got five caskets. Basically, the best things you can get from these is like party hats. A Santa hat would be nice, but yeah, ideally we're after a party hat because that will sell for a lot of cash. Got a daily M box from the first one. A Pharaoh's Ankh. Elite black plate legs. We got silken boots and... Oh my... No, I'm joking. Colonist boots. I've got myself here a ton of task rolls that I've gathered. These are all fairly AFK tasks, and also pretty good progress towards the max cap. And you can get some decent cash, to be honest with you. Like, if we pull a Torba piece or something, that's definitely catapulted our account. So, I'm going to go ahead and complete as many of these as I can. Any tasks that I can't be asked to do, I have got a task reset scroll, which you can reset the skill task here. But yeah, first one is to fish 52 raw lobsters. Vote boss is down, and we get ourselves a vote M box. A grand drop rate version. There we go, let's collect the reward. I got fuck all. Looks like we do get a daily M box for each one that we do open there, so that's nice. Infernal Guard Tunic. Wait, no way. Did I get a rock golem pet? I didn't even realise. 
Yo, what the fuck? When did I get this? I don't even know when I got this, guys, but we just got a rock golem pet, baby. Let's go. You get a weird feeling that something is following you. There we go. That's when we got it. Collect the reward, and we get adamant plate legs. Yeah. Another one bites the dust, and we get... I don't even know what that is. Another adamant piece. All right, let's claim another one of these. And is that blue dehyde? Halfway to 99. Whilst doing Slayer, I got a ton of tasks in the magma dungeon. And it just so happens, from killing 75 magma creatures, it will reward you with a magma whip. Which, if you didn't know, is the final ingredient I need. So for the upgrade, I need to get myself some elemental dust. Now, the way to get elemental dust is by using a chisel on the elemental chunk. But unfortunately, you do need a crafting level of 70. So I best go get that. I got five small lamps. What level will it get me? Will it be level 70? No, it will not. 48. I can buy uncut gems at the master crafter at the crafting teleport. So I guess I'll do this until level 70. There's 55. We can now cut uncut dragonstone. Which is the best XP, I think, even up until level 99. Level 70. So now we can make the elemental chunks. Beautiful. Just need five. Slap it into the upgrade machine and boo! I need a hammer. Of course. Let's try this again. Boo! Oh my god. Level 60 smithing required. Fuck, I'm level one. Oh. Yo, hold up. I've just discovered this minigame and I seem to be getting smithing XP from it. Shout out to Benny, he said Colon Colon Z Storm is easy smithing XP. I imagine he means zombie spawn. Gather a full inventory of barricades and this should work. You don't even need toolkits. But yeah, it's actually good XP, man. I'm getting like 6,000 each time and there is level 60. Took me about 5 ish minutes. Let's do this once and for all. The true Exo Sword is mine! Yes! What an upgrade that is. Looking dope as well, man. Hell yeah. We've got enough points to learn how to receive special drops. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase it. The next one, of course, will be the Slayer Helmet Grind. I'm looking forward to getting one. Got 11 lamps from the achievements. I'm going to space it out for all different skills that are level 1. Just to build the total level up a little bit. Makes it look like I've done more than I've actually done. There we go. Much better. 1557 total level now and there is 99 prayer so i'm gonna go ahead and buy two vote boxes that is all i can afford right now i've got six vote points left let's hope i get something good here oh okay we got some abomination plate legs don't know if they're good but apparently it is and then second one we got ourselves a grand rage potion Let's go see how much these legs are worth. Nobody is selling it on the server. Fuck it. I'm gonna put these in for literally. I'm gonna put these in for 2.5 bill. There's literally none on the POS, and somebody told me they've never seen these even get looted. So somebody might buy them. I'm looking at the gear guide for mid tier progression and Dravonic. Looks to be the one just under Dark Matter. I can afford a full set as well, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We got rid of the starter gear, baby. Nice. How much of an upgrade is that? No way is that not an upgrade. How good is this Nebulite? Fucking hell. Let's see how far 1,000 Warrior Guild tokens will get me. Hey, there's the first Defender. Iron Defender. Steel Defender. Black Defender. Mithril Defender. Adamant Defender. Hey, there's a Rune Defender. Hey, Dragon Defender. So anything from this point onwards will be a custom Defender, which of course will actually be very, very good for Strength Bonus and Defensive Bonus. Oh shit, there it is, the Arclight Defender. Beautiful stuff, man. Hell yeah. The final defender we need from here is the Dawnlight Defender. Now, I've heard the drop rate on this is extremely high, but I am going to stick around until we get it. Oh, shit. There it is. Oh, my God. There it is already. That's crazy. We got so spooned there. 
Dawn Light Defender. Look at it. Let's go. Yeah. They love to see you at your worst. Stick the knife in where it hurts. Fuck them all. I know my worth. I'm cashing in for that purse. I spent years in that dirt. Now I'm taking chances. I'm building my own church. They can't take away what you've been going through for years. Yeah. But I'm back in this bitch overcoming these fears.